my beautiful Marmars and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my friend Will. Hello Paco, yeah man, what up guys? Hey, today we're gonna teach you how to make a DIY boom box. Let's get to it. First thing you're gonna need is an old radio of some sort. I got this from my grandpa and he just brought it over. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna use some Don't of it. Don't forget the bowl of water. I was getting there, jeez. Yes, you're gonna need a bowl of water paper mache mixture. So go ahead and tell them what ingredients we need, Will. You also need a single drop of red dye, all right? Not two drops, not zero drops, not 69 drops, one drop. Perfect. Ooh, yeah. that looks cool. 37 <laughs> drops of soap. Okay. 37 or a dash. Right, Shake it up and, and, ooh. And, no, hey, that was 38. Take one out, take one out. All right, good, good, you're good, you're good. A little bit of, what is this? I don't know, you brought it out, you know how to make this. What this is this? This is a uh, uh, fruit seasoning. We got fruit, fruit seasoning. We got fruit seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> gotta add it all around. Just, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just just a, little, just a little bit. There we go, just that's what I like. Bit. That's what I like right there, okay. You have to mix your concoction. There it goes. This is how I mix, this is how I stir. Now we are here with the radio. We got the paper mache sauce and the paper mache. So you wanna use a 35 ply paper mache paper. Um, you wanna go ahead and just grab a few pieces like this and the correct way is to just dab and on. <laughs> and apply. There we go, go ahead, show how it's done, Will. So you wanna make sure, what was it again? 35 ply. 35 ply, you dab. So you keep applying until yeah. the boombox radio is covered in paper mache. But if you want to save time, you can just do this. It's, it's way easier. You just save time. You just oh yeah, yeah. This. this is a very advanced technique. The advanced that technique originates from the Mayans. So yep. be careful when you do this. It's very, very dangerous. You want to make sure there's a little bit of dryness in the middle. Uh huh. Because if you don't, your pinata is gonna be all wet. You know. And sometimes if you make it a little dry on the inside. Something might appear on the inside of the pinata, so <laughs> go ahead and just apply. <laughs> that looked, dude, this looks like a diaper now wow. with the red stripes on the outside. That part, and then just apply the finishing touch, um, and then make sure you preheat your oven to about 375 degrees. If the oven is preheated to 375 degrees, you want to go ahead and just grab your oven. Ooh, it's hot in here. Ooh, yeah. And just place it in there. There we go. Done. Now you just have to wait three hours. Alright guys, it's been three hours. Let's look at the boom box. find out what's in the boom box. What's that? What's, what's that? I what's guess we're going to find out what's, what's inside the boom box right what's now. That? Break it. Do the honors. Man. I'm weak, dude. We right, just worked out, this. man. We just worked out, dude. Dude, you're hella weak too, bro. Maybe if we do it together. Okay. Nope, doesn't hurt. <laughs> that was just really romantic. You got anything else, though? Oh, yeah. You got something in your pocket? Yeah. Okay. No! What Whoa. the heck? Where did you get that from? It's in my pocket. This is the key to success. Oh my gosh. Actually, I got something too. Damn, what you got? Oh, you should be sponsored already. Hachi. I know. What the heck, Hachi? You don't sponsor me. Okay, anyways, what help me out with that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. All right, so open it up. Open it up. Okay. Oh my, is that for real? Uh-huh, uh-huh. No way, dude. Uh -huh. No, uh -huh. no. Uh -huh. no. Uh -huh. Cheeto for sure. Taste it, taste it. Ooh, spicy, spicy, spicy. All right, you can do the honors. All right, first. I'm gonna try. <laughs> Dude, this is not, this is not, this is not working. This is on lockdown right here. Look at that. What the heck? Look at it, your turn, you go. What the? Oh, okay. Okay, 
All right, there we go. What's in it? I smell something. I'm gonna smell like hot Cheetos. Ah! Oh god, that was really close <laughs> to my hand. Oh my gosh, I said don't hit my hand. You hit like directly near. Maybe not like that when you mess up your counters. Oh, he said whatever. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. All of them fries though. <laughs> Woo! Dude, look, wow. look at this, look at this. Oh, in the head! Mmm, oh. you're still hot. Mmm, crunchy, delicious. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today's DIY. Make sure you check out Will's channel. Link in the description below. If you guys are new Marmars, I just want to say welcome. I'm Marlon. I post a video every single day at 12 p.m. So please come and watch with us. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. Peace. Marmars and welcome back to my kitchen today we are back with something I can eat I'm not sure if it's gonna taste good kind of weird but bear with me then we are making edible slime hot Cheetos all right for this DIY you're gonna this is gonna be the most important ingredient you need fiber it contains this ingredient called bacillus 